CFC was created because of our family's journey through addiction. My son, in eighth grade, I looked at his cell phone and in, I saw bring a perk to school. And then I said, it's Percocet. You don't think this is gonna happen to you. He decided to experiment with Oxycontin. He had a $320 a day habit. He started smoking crystal meth and shooting heroin. I kicked the door in. He had his arm tied off, had a spoon in his hand. He was ready to do his drugs. I didn't even recognize my son. So he was lost in the quagmire of addiction. I refused to lose my child this way, refused. I didn't think I would survive the loss of him. Hell. It was hell. Hell. My mom is an amazing woman. She is a passionate human being that I know I would not be here today without her. I say all the time that she gave birth to me twice. The second time was probably a lot harder. From when people get out of treatment to when they come home, there's, there's a gap. CFC has identified that gap and filled it. This organization and our mission is solely responsible to keeping myself sober. Our mission is to create a cornucopia of recovery. And we started compiling this aftercare program. Daniel's recovery plan. Within that year, he buried 27 friends in this area from heroin overdose. The kids that were left, that were his friends, started going, dude, how are you sober? Please help me. So they would come to my kitchen table and we would start doing Daniel's plan for Nick and for John. It was one kid, two kids, eight kids, 10 kids. I've been struggling with addiction for a long time. I'm trying to be a better parent for my daughter. 16 months ago, I had no hope. CFC has given her her mommy back. Impact 100 allowed us to expand. The family support group has saved my life. There's just nothing else like it. Since we've had the Impact 100 grant, we have grown tremendously. Our numbers have doubled in attendance. We established a family support group, a couples support group, grandparent support group, and a women's support group as well. We knew that affecting the whole entire family dynamic would prove to be successful. We couldn't have done this without the Impact 100 grant, and I am forever grateful. Drug overdoses kill over 64,000 people a year. Monmouth County ranks fourth in New Jersey. Now when we look back, over 15,000 families, it's not about Daniel anymore. It's about the whole world.